There's Sam. Sam is such an impressive storm. It's back up to 150 mile per hour cat four hurricane. Category five would be 157 miles an hour. So this was the intensity that Ida was at, and this has been at its max intensity so far. It was 150 mile per hour cat four earlier this week. So it's just been such an impressive storm that we've gathered so much data on. Fantastic when it works out this way. It's impacting no land. It's staying out in the Atlantic. The track of it's still well east of Bermuda and then out in the Atlantic and dissipating uh, once it gets closer to uh, the north up there in the northern part of the Atlantic. So no issues with Sam. This is what's left of Victor. Victor is a tropical storm. It's really struggling. It's got a lot of dry air. Uh, that's what's left of that tropical wave we were watching. That will likely just run into uh, South America there and not be an issue, but Victor is going to be moving to the northwest and eventually to the north. It is a 60 mile per hour tropical storm, so a little bit stronger. No longer really forecasting it to become a hurricane. It struggled with that dry air and as it moves to the north, it's going to encounter more of that Saharan dust and that will really keep it from organizing much. So yes, that with Victor, we're at 20 name storms so far. Seven have been hurricanes. Four have been major hurricanes. Grace, Larry, Ida and Sam have been our big hurricane so far and Ida and Larry or excuse me, Ida and uh, Sam have been the strongest so far with 150 mile per hour sustained winds. Wanda is our last name on the list and our next name we will probably get it within the next couple of weeks. October is typically uh, somewhat active in the tropics, especially as you get towards the Caribbean. The Caribbean usually wakes back up in October, so we'll keep an eye on it, but we don't have anything to worry about right now. There's your seven day forecast, some rain through the next four days or so, and then less humid with some drier weather by next week.